All right, we got a cool one today. This is Chemfort by What the Frick Chemical Burn. And uh, it's your basic uh, capture the flag map. Well, not quite basic, but you, you'll see what I mean. Um, I swear I've played this before on, like, you know, servers with actual people. Um, but, you know, it's been so long that I might not have, but I'm going to say I have. Um, the one thing I really, really adore about this map is the visuals. I think presentation-wise, this is an absolute home run. But look at this. It's just, look at the lighting. And just like this, it's, it's a consistent tone. You know, I feel some people, like, try to pull off the kind of, like, you know, gritty industrial look, and it just kind of comes off as, like, eh? But this really gets it. It's even got an elevator! The slime or cam or whatever the hell you want to call it doesn't hurt you. Um, you could swim in it, and like 2-4, um, you could swim through this to get to, to the, into the enemy's base more covertly. In fact, unlike 2-4, you get right into the flag room, but when I, remember when I said that this isn't quite a basic capture the flag map, I'll show you what I mean. Um, and it's nice that the author put this here, so you can actually breathe, because slower classes probably won't be able to get through here without, like, you know, running out of oxygen. As you can see right here, there's the flag, but I can't go in there. Or else I'm going to die, I'm pretty sure. I think it might be insta-death. So what you have to do is you have to first go over here and press this button. And then, after you do that, and only then, am I allowed as a someone as the other team to get in there and nab that flag. Um, I'm really kind of mixed on that. It's not like it was in Castle Mertz, anyone who's watched that uh, video. Where I feel the the the, mm, the creator got went a little too far. Here it's a little different because it's a little spread out. There's places to hide, and you know it's only one flag I have to grab. Um, so you know, and there's actually like it's much easier to break into the base anyway. I could even conk jump through there if I really wanted to. So you know you have some options. It's not like that map where it's a lot more um, linear, it, for lack of a better word. Anyway, I'll just capture this flag, because why not? I already got it here. Also, I forget if the capture flag I had to... Or capture point, I had to go all the way back here. Which is something I'm also torn on. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, whether I like the capture point for a team in this game being... Like, actually... Like, in the flag room, where you think it would be. Like, something like Quake 3. Or, like, you know, a lot of maps I see put it on the sniper roost right up front. Because it makes you capture faster, sure, but it, make, it makes it more likely you get frickin' shot in the head. Anyway, g good map, let's check it out. Again, nice, nice boon on having a ton of supplies to grab. That is exactly what I want to see in my spawn point. They just got it right. See, because that's, you know... When you're talking about the map design, I, I don't, you know, I've played quite a few maps so far for this series where there's, like, only one way to get into the enemy base. And, you know, that has some merit, too, by making a very battle-focused, very intense map. But there's, like, some times where it's, like, I want to actually have a chance to get in and, like, actually try to capture the flag. And, you know, this is what I want to see. Like, there's alternate ways, you know, try to get in. But there's also, you know... It's possible for, like, the other team to try to, like, you know, defend the, their, like, flag because they have time to, like, build up, like, sentries there. Also, I think I killed myself. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just good. I like that. It gives some purpose in different classes that sometimes I feel some maps don't understand. Why is my grenade throwing so suboptimal? Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a little tricky as you can see. It looks like I'll have to take a more direct approach. You know, that's the one thing is that, you know, the, like, you know, someone might actually recognize, hey, we got a gaping hole in our base, maybe we should watch it. Alright, I'm gonna try to be Mr. Intelligent here. 
I'm in pro the uh, comp grenade in a place I don't know where it is. Well, I actually wanted to try to go through the sniper nest, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Like, I'm sure if you actually got skill, like, you know, you got the skill to, like, you know, do that, then, yeah, that's probably a great way to get in, but I suck at this game, so we're just not going to try that. Oh, wait, we're red. I, I thought I was blue. What the hell? Sorry, I'm an idiot. jump right through that with, you know, maybe a little effort. I'll see. I'll have to actually, you know, perform, repeat, like, you know, completions of the maneuver before I can say doubtlessly, you know, that it's really possible. But oh well. Let's find out. See, on the aesthetic of this map, this is a little thing. Because, you know, obviously, to, you know, eventually... Years after this game, um, was initially big, you know, two, Team Fortress Classic, or not, two, two, BAM! TF2 would become really, really, like, popular and big, right? And that would be kind of its own aesthetic, right? It's kind of interesting seeing this one and how it kind of has, like, you know, a, more, a different aesthetic than it's, like, you know, sequel. Because remember, this is a mod of Half-Life, if you haven't figured that out already. And, you know, the thing is, is that they try to imply that this is taking place in the Half-Life universe. Remember, this would say, like, you know, TF... Team Fortress Classic went under a lot of different names. Like, it's... Like, later in its life was known as Team Fortress 1.5. Um, but I've seen it... Like, early descriptions of it back in the day as Half-Life um, Team Fortress. And... I won't go into the details now because I don't quite remember everything, but I do know that Gearbox or someone was working on an expansion pack for Half-Life that would incorporate in some way the classes from this game and like actually try to put them into the Half-Life like time frame. And like, you know, a lot of maps in this game end up looking unique anyway, different from like Half-Life, you know, more natural or like, you know, more like, you know, like you have... I forget what it's called, but the one that's kind of set in like a, like a European city. We'll get to that one at some point. Uh, but then there's maps like this. And there are a couple, a few. Ah. Okay, don't throw the grenade to the water. Why have I not figured that out yet? I'm so sorry. But there's like, well, right? That, you know, this is similar visuals. Where it's like, it's that like kind of like, you know, gritty, like science look that like Half-Life has. And, like, you know, obviously this is a community effort, so, you know, it's not an official one, but, you know, I like it when it tries to, like, you know, go for that style, because it really fits, like, the character models and the technology, and, you know, just the box over-talking, like, you have the flag. I think, like, this is a look that, like, every map should have gone for in this game. I'm just a big fan. 
So to go on another tangent, I guess that's why I always prefer Half-Life to Half-Life 2. At least aesthetically, I'm just a much more of a fan of the like, you know, gritty 90s industrial like like flavor, I guess. It's not really that, but you know what I mean. Just that futuristic look. Think about No, don't go up! Well, hopefully that killed it at least. Did it? Ah, oh, balls. Yeah, I'll try the more direct route again. Switch it up. But I don't know why they insist on building sentries right in the main fort like that. You know, 
You can kind of do that depending on the map, but sometimes it just like you know if it's open enough, you're, you're essentially just gonna get shot. Oh, that son of a bitch! I already hear him building another one. Probably in the same spot too. Well, I'm I'm terrific. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's hopeless anyway, because I just remembered I gotta activate, deactivate the laser anyway. Again, which is why I have such a mixed feeling on it, because it complicates things. Like, it just, I, it feel, I feel it just wasn't necessary to make this a good map. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. deactivate the laser. That is never gonna happen again. That was like the, the one ch in a billion year chance and I blew it. I squandered it. I'm a disgrace to everyone in the free world. Chem for. Um, again, a little bit too hard, if I gotta give a complaint. It's still a little bit too hard to actually capture the flag, but, you know, not the worst I've seen in that regard, and in aesthetically, and even gameplay-wise, quite well done. I wholeheartedly recommend this. If you see a server running that, go play in it. 